What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Ricky Gervais hosting Golden Globes 2016. We did 2010, 2011, 2012, 2020. Here we are with 2016. All this funny bits and monologue edited together. I'm ready to dive right in, but before we do that, subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up to, or actually, uh, if you got a favorite video suggestion, drop it in the comments. Here. What do we got, Ricky? Live from the star-filled International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Welcome to the 73rd Annual Golden Globe Awards. And now, your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Shush. Shut up, you disgusting, pill-popping, sexual deviant scum. <laughs> I want to do this monologue and then go into hiding, OK? OK. Not even Sean Penn will find me. Penn? Not even Sherwin. Not even Sean Penn will find me. Is that even who Penn? Snitch. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the 73rd Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel. With all these rich, beautiful celebrities having the time of their lives. Let's hope no one spoils that. Yeah. <laughs> Relax, I'm going to try and be nice. You're global megastars with amazing talent, most of you. A few of you just married well. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> We, we all do. We all do. <laughs> We're live on NBC, and it's right that NBC hosts this award show because they're the only network who are truly fair and impartial. And that's because they're the only network with zero nominations. So... <laughs> nothing in it for them tonight. They don't care who... They don't care, obviously. <laughs> but as I say, I'm going to be nice tonight. I've changed. Mm. Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. Oh now, Caitlyn. <laughs> Off the jump! Off the jump, Ricky. I've changed. Not as much as Bruce Jenner. Ooh, that's tough. That's. <laughs> Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. <laughs> now, Caitlyn Jenner, of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but... <laughs> you can't have everything, can you? <laughs> Not at the same time. Anyway, so <laughs> I am going to be nice tonight, and I'll tell you why. The president of the Hollywood Foreign Press just told me that if I say anything offensive or crass or resort to innuendo, he is going to come out here and personally pull me off. So that's an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> yes, yeah. Personally pull me off. So that's an offer I couldn't refuse. I, I love it. Refuse. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the level. An old man pulling me off. <laughs> Again. Um, <laughs> at least Jeffrey Tambor did it in a dress. Um, uh, what a year he's had. Oh, what an actor, what a role. It, yeah, no, it's... <laughs> Every day he has to put on all the women's clothes and the hair and makeup and let people film it. That takes balls. So, I don't know how he does it. I really don't. I've seen his balls. They're huge and long. I don't know if he tucks them in the bra or does that thing when you push them out the back and let them hang out like a bulldog. No one knows. Like a bulldog. I love Jeffrey Tambor. I don't know if that's because he's such a great actor or because he reminds me of my nan. One Hollywood publication said that me hosting would mean that some film stars would stay away for fear of being made fun of. As if film stars would stay away from the chance of winning a Golden Globe. 
particularly if their film company has already paid for it. <laughs> so what's happened this last year in this crazy business we called show? The excellent Spotlight has been nominated. Yeah. Spot I haven't seen Spotlight either. There's so many of these shows I haven't seen. Y'all tell it was Spotlight good. Y'all let, let me know. The excellent Spotlight has been nominated. Yeah. The, uh, the Catholic Church are furious about the film as it exposes the fact that 5% of all their priests have repeatedly molested children and been allowed to continue to work without punishment. Roman Polanski called it the best date movie ever. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence made the news when she demanded equal pay for women in Hollywood and she received, yeah, overwhelming support from people everywhere. There were marches on the street with nurses and factory workers saying, how the hell can a 25-year-old live on 52 million? This is... This, there were plumbers around the world going, poor girl on top, I'm fucking hell. So... <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, bro, Ricky, I love Ricky. How the hell can a 25-year-old live on 52 million? They there were plumbers around the world so going, much. poor girl in town, I'm fucking hell. So, <laughs> but joking aside, <laughs> of course women should be the, paid the same as men for doing the same job. And I'd like to say now that I'm getting paid exactly the same as Tina and Amy did last year for hosting it. No, I know there was two of them, but it's not my fault if they want to share the money, is it? That's, <laughs> that's their stupid fault. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. The Hollywood Foreign Press deemed The Martian a comedy and even nominated it. And hence, Matt Damon is here tonight. So that worked a treat, didn't it? The Martian was so good. To be fair, The Martian was a lot funnier than Pixels. Uh, but then again, so was Schindler's List. I haven't seen Schindler's List. It's just a film. <laughs> All female remakes are the big thing. There's a female remake of Ghostbusters. There's going to be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios because they get guaranteed box office results and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I don't... <laughs> Guaranteed box office results and they don't gotta spend a lot of money on the cast, bro. Ricky Ricky don't care. He's when he says he don't care, he means that he don't care, bro. I I love it. I keep not caring, Ricky, because we love you for it. So <laughs> shut up, I don't care. <laughs> Listen. If you do win tonight, remember that no one cares about that award as much as you do, okay? <laughs> Don't get emotional, it's embarrassing, okay? <laughs> that award is, no offense, worthless. <laughs> it's a bit of metal that some nice old confused journalists wanted to give you in person so they could meet you and have a selfie with you. Okay? That's all it is. I've got three. I've that got three wheel. Golden Globes myself. So I can say, one's a doorstop, one I used to hit burglars with, and one I keep by the bed to, doesn't matter why, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. I want it fair and square. It's just the right <clears throat> shape and size. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah, so to be clear, that was a joke about me shoving Golden Globes that I've won up my ass. And they asked me to host four <gasps> times. Good Jesus. <sighs> Let's do the show, shall we? On a serious note, the Golden Globes are about excellence. To win one, you have to do something amazing. Neither of our first two presenters have won a Golden Globe. 
I don't know what they're doing here, really. But I don't choose the guests. Please welcome the fantastic Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. What? Neither of them? Bro, both of them are amazing actors. I absolutely love both of them. Please welcome the fantastic Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. Welcome back. The Golden Globes doesn't have an in memoriam section to get you all depressed. Instead, we let the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press say a few words. <laughs> Please welcome Lorenzo Soria. Huh? Is the star of the hilarious comedy The Martian. No way that movie's a comedy. Oh, he nearly died. Right. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Eva Longoria and America Ferreira aren't just beautiful, talented actresses. They're also two people who your future president, Donald Trump, can't wait to deport. <laughs> Please welcome Eva Longoria and America Ferreira. <laughs> Joy and Trainwreck. No, not the names of Charlie Sheen's two favorite hookers. <laughs> the films of our next two presenters. <laughs> They're best friends, by the way. <clears throat> they wanted me to tell you that. But, uh, and if you forget, they said they'd, they'd tweet you. And remind. Basically, they come round and shout it through. They're best friends. It's like they've never had a friend before. <laughs> Please welcome Amy Schumer and Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, I love those two. Oh. This show is way too long, isn't it? It's way too... This could be <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> this one was in the writer's strike when they just read the winners and just... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's get through it. Right. Unbelievable. Some people still think this award means something. The winners, just listen to me. Listen, it doesn't just... Right. When Brad and Angelina see our next two adorable little presenters, they're going to want to adopt them. Please <laughs> welcome Kevin Hart and Ken Jeong. <laughs> Ricky's my guy. I, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Ricky should host every single Golden Globes for through the rest of history. He should just unless he just can't. Unless he says no, he should be offered the job to host every single. Golden Angelina, Golden. see our next two adorable little presenters. They're going to want to adopt them. Please welcome <laughs> Kevin Hart and Ken Jeong. <laughs> right. Listen. This is shush. Just shut up, really, seriously. Right. A few years ago, on this show, I made a joke about Mel Gibson getting a bit drunk and saying a few unsavory things. We've all done it. I wasn't judging him, but now I find myself in the awkward position of having to introduce him again. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure it's embarrassing for both of us, OK? And I blame NBC for this terrible situation. <coughs> Mal blames... We know who Mal blames. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I still feel a bit bad for it, right? Mal's forgotten all about it, apparently. That's what drinking does. No. <laughs> I want to say something nice about Mal before he comes out. Um, so, oh yeah, okay, here you go. I'd rather have a drink with him in his hotel room tonight than with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Mal Gibson. Ricky.
I love seeing Ricky once every three years because it reminds me to get a colonoscopy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> well, if you'd left your drink here, you don't need to leave your drink here. I'll put you to sleep another way. <laughs> Listen, yes. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I think we all want the answer to this. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know. Ask the guy that said it. It wasn't me. I will say that I didn't hear the question. Y'all, I know y'all know the question. I know, tell me the question that he asked in the comment section. I don't know. Ask the guy that said it. It wasn't me. Kill me. Right. Jeez, you know what I mean? Uh, no joke. This is what ridiculous. <laughs> right. Our next presenter is the most respected actor in the room. That isn't saying much. Please welcome Morgan Freeman. Yeah, oh, I'll do that more. Are we back? <laughs> oh. Welcome back to the Golden Globes. Our next presenter is an actress who is both beautiful and talented. Born in England, she came to America and has taken Hollywood by storm. The star of the nominated movie, The Danish Girl, please. It's a dude. Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> I do like him, bro. He's a dope actor. He's hilarious. Uh, I love Ricky Gervais, bro. This this man is absolutely funny. I just, Nothing bad you can say about him. That's all we got for this one. If you guys... Uh, Got a favorite video suggestion? You can uh, drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy Dina. Out.